What's up, what's up? Today we're gonna learn about square root. Square root is in this kind of form, okay? That's called radical sign, symbol. A square root has invisible number, which we write here. From the word square, what do you think is this invisible number? It's not one, it's not three, it's not four, but it's invisible two. Okay, that's invisible. You don't see it. So if I have a uh, square root of x, there's an invisible one right here as its exponent, and there's an invisible two right there. Again, you don't see them. Okay, if you see them, you're probably hungry. But anyway, so we're gonna learn about writing radical form into exponential form. Vice versa, okay? So how do you do it? First, if you have square root of 5, we know that there's an invisible 1 right here and 2 over there. This is a sample of a radical form that we have to write in exponential form. How do we do it? 5 is the radicand. Radicand. And your exponent here and your root will be raised to one half. Guess what? How do you get the one half here? One from there, two from the root. Easy, right? One more. Let's say uh, square root of x to the third power. Again, what's the invisible root here? You're right, it's two. So the radical for the exponential form of this is x cube because of this three here and since the root is two over two kaboom what if we have more than one coefficient or there's a coefficient with the x here sample square root of three x to the fifth power okay this will be a little tricky now because this is our radicand this will be our basically the base there and What's the invisible exponent here? Two, right? You're gonna put, don't put the two over here because three is part of the radicand. So what you do here, this is assumed that there's a one here. So the entire thing has a power of one half because this is two, the two comes from there and the one goes there. That's the difference when you have more than one item in your square root or as your radicand. One more. Square root of 10 m to the fourth power. Okay, there's a multiple, there's a coefficient and a variable. So I'm gonna copy my radicand, and there's a power of one there. That's why you put one over here. But the root is two, so over two. Kaboom. Easy, right? Now, let's do the vice versa. What if I give you m four halves? I know four divided by two. I should have picked a different number. Let's do it differently. m three halves. Here, the denominator is two. That's your root. And this is your power. So basically, what will happen when you're converting the exponential form to a radical form you start with the root and m to the third power. Okay? You don't need to simplify. We're just rewriting it right now. So if you have x, 9 halves. Again, how do you write this in radical form? Square root, the 2 here goes there. And the 9 goes with the x. Some, you will see the 9 to be outside. 9 here. This is correct and this is correct. Kaboom. What if you're given 6n to the 1 half? The parenthesis is telling you that there's a coefficient and variable that will go inside the square root. So how do we write this one in a radical form? Make your square root. This 2 tells you to put 2 there. And then 6n. You can put a 1 here. You can put there. doesn't matter. Because 1 is invisible. So you can basically erase this one. You can have erase this one too. And even this, you don't have to write this down because they're all invisible. 
One more. Then y to the fifth power. Write this one in an in a radical form. So again, I forgot something. This has to be parenthesis three halves. So here, you put the two here because of the root there, or that's invisible, you don't have to. This 10 y to the fifth inside because that's the one inside the parenthesis. And you can have the three here, or you can have the three inside, but you need to have 10 y to the fifth to the third power. If you put it inside, there must be a parenthesis. If you keep it outside, you don't need to have parenthesis here. It's easy, right? Have a good day. Boom.